we have a development in the Brett Kavanaugh story that uh, is pretty important. Jeff Flake plans to support Kavanaugh after FBI investigates, quote, unless they turn something up, turn up something. Senator Jeff Flake says he plans to support Brett Kavanaugh's nomination unless the FBI investigation into sexual assault allegations against the Supreme Court nominee reveals wrongdoing. I'm a conservative. He's a conservative. I plan to support him unless they turn up something, and they might. Flake told The Atlantic for an article uh, published Saturday, the GOP senator's comments came hours after he forced a week-long uh, investigation into allegations against Kavanaugh, saying he would agree to allow Kavanaugh's nomination to advance from the Senate Judiciary Committee if the FBI could investigate. President Trump agreed to a Senate GOP leader's request for an FBI investigation on Friday afternoon, ordering a supplemental background check, limited in scope and completed in less than one week. Flake, late Friday, expressed concern with Kavanaugh's confirmation process, partic particularly with the partisanship displayed in hearings by the Senate Judici Judiciary Committee. Okay, so this is a wink and a nod from Trump and uh, the tiniest bone in human history thrown uh, to the Democrats and to the country, where he's, oh yeah, sure, whatever, for a week, you guys can look into it. And then uh, he's drawn clear lines. So they said, oh, uh, for example, we want uh, some information reg in regarding Mark Judge, who, is his name Mark Judge? I think it's Mark Judge. It's uh, Kavanaugh's friend who was allegedly in the room at the time that the thing happened. And um, the FBI wanted some information from him, but uh, Trump said, no, I'm not allowing you to get that information. So it looks like Trump is saying, oh, sure, here, here's your FBI investigation. And then he's drawing lines to make it ineffectual. And then what happens is, I don't know exactly what they're going to come out and say, but my guess is, whatever they come out and say, Flake will use to then turn around and say, well, there's not enough there for me to not to vote against him, so I'm going to vote for him. That's my guess as to what's going to happen. Now, here's where I say to everybody, I told you so. So, you go back and you watch every segment I've done on Kavanaugh. I make crystal clear, even putting the allegations aside, you need to come up with an argument against him. Because it's not enough to just say, oh, there are these allegations of uh, fucked up stuff he did over 30 years ago, and that is my basis on objecting. No, your basis could be that, and, hey, by the way, his judicial philosophy is insane, and it makes no sense, and that's why we're going to oppose him, because he's an extremist, an ideological extremist. But they didn't come within a mile of touching a single argument in f about his judicial philosophy. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. Because look at what Flake said. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever, let's have an investigation, but if they don't come up with anything... So in other words, if they don't unequivocally say, yes, he did it, yes, he's guilty, Flake is going to say, well, what am I going to do? They cleared his name, so of course I'm going to vote for him. If you made an argument, along with talking about the sexual uh, allegations, because I think those are legit because it's attempted rape, which is almost as bad as it gets when it comes to uh, sexual allegations... You also should have said, hey, uh, Jeff Flake, you're a conservative, right? Oh, yeah, I'm a conservative. So you love small government, right? Oh, yeah, I love small government. Well, you do know that Brett Kavanaugh supports warrantless, unconstitutional NSA spying that steals all Americans' metadata. You do know that, right? So if you support Brett Kavanaugh, you support big government. Jeff Flake supports big government? I can't believe you support big government. Why would you? You say you believe in small government. Here's a guy who loves big government. And you are supporting him. He's not a principled conservative. Are you principled or are you not principled? You're going to support a guy who's not a principled conservative? You said you were conservative. I didn't say it. You said it. So, you're a conservative. This guy's not a uh, small government conservative, particularly when it comes to people's privacy rights and protection from unreasonable search and seizure. You're going to back this guy? Why wouldn't you back a conservative who's actually conservative on that on those issues? I mean, this is a fucking scandal. This guy's in favor of the government spying on everybody. That's the biggest government I can imagine. So, you needed to make an argument like that, so that if slash when the FBI comes out and says, yeah, there's some evidence there, but uh, we can't say for sure if he did it or not, you still have something to fall back on. But you didn't do it, because you don't know what the fuck you're doing, because you suck at politics, Democrats. You're so bad at this. You're so bad at it. It hurts. It hurts. Now, again, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that the allegations don't matter. In fact, based on the evidence I've seen and the fact that this asshole repeatedly perjured himself, I do think it matters. But you had to have more than that.
Because now you're going to have no leg to stand on. And Flake is going to go, what do you mean? I said an investigation. We have an investigation. They didn't definitively come out on the side saying he's guilty. So what am I going to do? I'm going to support him. Oh, you jackasses. How can you botch this? How can you botch this? And here's the sad reality, guys. They don't really care that he's, he's right-wing judicially. They don't care. I mean, look what happened with Gorsuch. Skated by. Yeah, whatever. You skated by. What are we going to do? There was They didn't even really put up a fight. Now, I know there's numbers issues for the Democrats. I got it. But they don't... You Do you have any idea what a full court press looks like on this stuff? Do you have any idea? Do you, do you not realize that you have to go on all the talk shows and bring up aspects of his legacy and hammer away and hammer away and hammer away and get all the Democrats on the same page and go do that and... Um, you go, you know, to the floor of, of the Senate and the House and have Democrats just go in and lash out, go all in on how terrible Gorsuch was. But they didn't do that. They just fucking laid down. And now, since your main point of resistance is the sexual assault allegations with Kavanaugh, all you need is, all the Republicans need, and even some corporate Democrats, some blue dog Democrats like Joe Manchin, just give me a little something that lets me go, I don't know if it's real, and then that's it. They're, he's going to get through. So, another failure from the Democrats. Uh, Jeff Flake is playing politics here. By the way, don't fall for it. This guy votes with Trump 86% of the time. You think he's like, oh, he's, Jeff Flake will save us. You fucking kidding me? This is the mo most deeply political move I've ever seen in my life. Oh, hey, I've been convinced against supporting this fucking insane loser asshole prep school prick who's got a terrible ideology, and on top of that, a terrible character. Oh, and now I'm waffling in the middle. So, here, we'll give it a week, and then I'll probably come out on the wrong side, like I've done every other time. They don't know what they're doing, the Democrats. And, uh, they seem to always default to the worst possible arguments. And here we are. With Republicans controlling everything, Donald Trump as president, and this asshole, who very well may be the next Supreme Court Justice. You have to look at this fucking face for 30 years.